Don't get stuck being the guy that you think you've got to be, the leader that needs the credit, the guy that needs to do it all, the guy that needs to be the hero. Don't get stuck at doing that because if you are being that guy, you're not hearing people. You're not seeing people. Get outward with the people that matter most and start shifting that language to give them the acknowledgement that they deserve and you're going to bring them up to another level. Real business, real business, real business. Whatever your situation is currently is not your forever situation. That's really what real business owners is, man. Like, we don't care where you come from, yeah. where are you going? Our goal and our job is to reduce the mistakes that you have to make or the money that you have to lose. You want to be an entrepreneur, you want to be successful, don't give up. You learn, adjust, and continue to move forward. Welcome back to another episode of the Real Business Owners Podcast. As always, you've got myself. And just kidding, you don't have Trevor here today. This is just me today, you guys. We're doing a solo podcast. Um, and uh, today, you know, I wanted to talk to you guys a little bit about being better at acknowledgement and how that can increase the culture and the production of your team. Because sometimes it gets lacking and sometimes we're not aware of it. But I actually talked about it a little bit in our in our staff meeting this morning, and uh, it got me thinking, you know what, that's what I'll talk about today, because I shared with them a story about four years ago when we were at one of the Arate summits, and I'm sitting around one of our breakout tables, and I'm in there, you know, talking about what's the current struggles of our business right now, and I'm like, man, you know what, we've got partners, and everybody knows, like, partners are kind of tough at times, right? There's a ton of strengths to partnerships and then sometimes there's tough times of partnerships as well. Sometimes people are carrying the load a little bit more and some people are falling behind a little bit more. And so sometimes things go unnoticed. And anyway, Ed comes over, Ed Milet, we're at the Arte Summit and he sits down at our table. He says, what are you guys working through right now? And we are currently working on some of the things I was bitching about, right? And I was just like, well, you know, like, I'm producing the most and I'm doing the most, but we're being paid the same. And like, sometimes it's, I'm getting a little frustrated because my partners, I feel like they should just take initiative and they should do this more. They should do that more. And you know, like that would feel like it's more even and across the board or whatever. Right. And, and it's all true of how I was feeling at that point in time. But he said, you know what? You could be struggling with acknowledgement. Right. And, uh, you know, a lot of times people struggle with acknowledgement if they're the ones that are kind of seeking to get the credit for the big wins in the company and they're they're doing the most. They're the high producers. He's like, but I'll tell you what, my wife pulled me aside and he told me a story about his own personal home with his with his wife and his daughter, Bella. And uh, he said, you know, I, I always go up and I tuck my daughter in at night. And uh, she's pretty good. She keeps her room clean most of the time. And uh but sometimes, you know, she falls behind on it a little bit. And so I went up one night to tuck her in, and I had noticed she hadn't been keeping up on her room like she usually does. And I said, hey, what's up with this? You're better than that. Like, how come you're not keeping your room clean? I don't see it like this very often. Like, what's wrong with you? Like, you know what I mean? And 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 uh, his wife actually pulled him aside, and she was like, hey, I heard you up there talking to Bella tonight, and you kind of got on her about her room being clean. He's like, yeah, like, you know, we don't. We don't like let things slide like that around here very often. And she said, well, you know what, Ed, um, you, uh, you never really give her credit or acknowledge when her room's clean, which is like 90% of the time. So instead of picking her apart all the time on when her room's not clean, why don't you start acknowledging and highlighting when her room is really clean when it's nice. Right. And, uh, he was like, you know what? It kind of hit me in that moment that that's very true. And it's like that with your business. It's like that with your relationships. It's like that with your family, right? Like if you want more out of people, you want people around you to level up instead of focusing on what they're not doing, start focusing on what they are doing. And that's a very, very common thing, not just in business partnerships, but definitely in business partnerships is we get in our lane sometimes and we end up focusing on what we're doing and we're doing it all and since we're we're in our lane we kind of have tunnel vision and so when something doesn't get done and there's a little chink in the armor it's very easy for us to say well hey I notice you're not doing that instead of noticing all the time what they are doing and so it kind of goes back to that saying you know like people really easily Notice what others aren't doing, but they don't notice what they do do sometimes if it's outside their lane. And so in order to become better at that, first of all, you got to be 
you got to be somebody that uh, you're not like the credit hog. You know, you're not the guy with the hero complex that thinks that you got to take everything on because you're you're focused inward, right? You have that hero complex where you know you can save the day, and you know um, you know you're the guy that that wants the credit all the time for the productions or the big deals that go down, and and that's something that fills you up, right? Like you know, is is getting that credit and being the guy, being the leader, right? Coming in, being the guy on the white horse, and so you know you got to kind of get outside yourself, and you have to start becoming more outward than verse inward right so in in life like we got to get very inward sometimes when we're doing things like self-improvement and and we're trying to better ourselves for the others around us but if we're not getting outward with our teams and the people around us that are a part of our lives with that acknowledgement then we're not going to get more of out of them in fact if you don't grasp this concept and you don't start giving credit when it's due to other people you don't start seeing and hearing your team. Not only will they hit ceilings, but they'll produce less, and then you'll lose great people. And that was a lesson that I got from Ed that day, and that was a shift that I decided that I wanted to make in all those areas, especially my team at work, especially my children at home, especially my wife at home. Because why would I not want to acknowledge the things that they do if it means they'll want to do more of that? I mean, let's be real. Us as humans, we produce more with the things that we think we're good at. And so if somebody's tearing us down all the time, and they're just pointing out what we don't do, or, they, or they, they start feeling beat down that they're just not good at something, or maybe I'm just not good at that, or, or maybe, I'm just not, uh, maybe I'm just never going to get ahead with this, or you know, whatever, right? They start losing confidence in it. They don't want to do that task anymore. They don't want to do that duty anymore. They don't want to develop that skill anymore. But when they feel like the, they're getting highlighted and they're naturally good at things, well, then they start feeling like a confidence around it. And then when they start feeling a confidence around it, they want to start doing it more. And great team builders that, cre that create high producers understand that. And that's why there's things like, uh, well, there's quotes out there, like the one by Harry S. Truman. It's amazing what you can accomplish if you don't care who gets the credit. Great team builders, great leaders understand that. But at the same time, it feels good to get the credit, even as the leader sometime. It feels good to have our cup filled up, especially when we do something great for our company or we do something great for our culture or we do something great for our home. We all like to get that credit. And so I have my own saying that's like, well, be a highlighter and you'll get a highlighter. And what I mean by that is it's just like the law of reciprocity, right? If you start getting outward with the credit that needs to be given. You start noticing, you start hearing, you start seeing others and what they do and what they produce. They're going to start highlighting you. But you got to be the one that starts putting it out there first. And I was taught by that, or I was taught that by someone on our team as well. You know, a lot of a lot of you guys that listen, especially if you're in our mastermind or you've had some dealings with Corey McNeil, he calls people, he calls members all the time. Um, Corey is great at this, man. Like he was an example to me of that. He would always start pointing out what other people did that was great. He would always start pointing out like what I did great, and then I would by net by by default I would start pointing out what he does great, and we still do it to this day. Like you know, no matter what's going on in the company. It's like, I can always see his gift. I can always see his greatness. And it's very easy for me to point that out because I've been practicing that with him. And he's been doing it back to me. And we've, we're over here like filling each other's cup up, right? And that's why we've developed such a great close relationship, even though our relationship was built on working together. We produce more when we're highlighting each other. But it started with him highlighting me first. And then I started highlighting him. And then it became this thing, right? And that's, and that's how a lot of things are. It's that law of reciprocity. But you're the leader of your team. And if you're the leader of your team, you've got to be able to take that on. You've got to be able to start initiating that. There's another quote by a guy named Alfred North Whitehead. Okay? And he's like a philosopher and a great mathematician of his time. It's from the early 1900s. And he says, no one who achieves success does so without acknowledging the help of others. The wise and confident acknowledge this help with gratitude. 
And that is a sign of a great leader. All great things are built with teams. All great things are built with people. And nothing gets torn down quicker than the egomaniacs that take it all inward. Than the people that just want the credit for everything. They want to be the hero all the time. They want everybody to look up to them, right? And so let's, get, let's think a little bit tactical about some acknowledgement. How can we develop it? How can we develop this skill of acknowledgement? Well, first of all, it takes honesty. And then it takes practice. You have to become honest and aware if you're not great at this. If you're not great at putting that credit out there, you're not great at acknowledging your team members, you're not great at acknowledging the people around you, you got to get honest with yourself. So become aware of it. Get honest with yourself. And then let's focus on doing some practice. Okay? And sometimes it's uncomfortable. You know, I remember when I first got married, okay, to my wife, and it was like, it was weird to like, to say like, like nice things that uh, like, like acknowledging her, like things that she, she did for me. And it was like, but it was easy to tear down when things tear her down. Like when things weren't going like the way I thought that they should go, whether it's around the house or with the kids or whatever. Right. It feels weird. And that's some weird shit about us humans is the people that are closest to us. Sometimes it's the weirdest. It feels the weirdest to actually like give the credit that they need or give the acknowledgement at, at what they're doing. Great. Right? It just goes back to what we talked about in the very beginning where we notice what people don't do, don't do versus what they do do. And we got to get outside of that. But it felt weird to me to say something along the lines of like, oh, hey, baby, like, like, thank you so much for all that you do. Like, it means so much to me to know, like, every time I open my sock drawer, I've got match socks up in there. And that makes my life so much easier. And I know you got a busy life going on. You're running your own business and you do more for the kids than I do. But somehow you always find a way to get it done. And that just means so much to me. And you're just, man, you're just an amazing, you're an amazing mother, you're an amazing wife. You know, that, that, it would like felt weird to just be that, like, give that vulnerable, like, acknowledgement. And that's, that's weird to me that, that we do that as humans and that we struggle to actually have those conversations instead of like tearing them down, you know, versus something like, you know, you know, every time I open my sock drawer, it's like, I can never find any damn socks. And I don't know what it is that you do around here all the time. You're home more than I do. I feel like I should have more socks in my drawer and they should be matched all the time. That would save me so much time to get out the door if you would just do that more for me. Like, why is it, like, for a long time, it's, like, more natural to do something like that versus acknowledge when it's done right, when it's done, like, when it's done, you know? And so I try to focus on that. And we're all human. We're not perfect, right? But if we can get better at that and develop that skill and we start having those conversations more, we're going to get more of, out of that person. I mean, what do you think in your home is going to get more production, like, if you had that conversation with your wife right now, do you think she'd be like, oh, man, he really notices me and he sees me and he sees when I do great things for him. And, man, you know, I, I am pretty good at this wife stuff. You know what? I want to do more of that. Now it just starts becoming, like, something she wants to do versus something that she doesn't want to do. Nobody wants to do more when they feel torn down about it or they feel like they're not that great at it or they can't do anything right in your eyes. Okay, and that's just one example at home. If you've got an athlete in your home, like I do, like I've got a son, he's, he's a beast at baseball, but it's like if I'm tearing him down all the time saying, hey, son, if you ain't doing the work, there's someone else out there that is doing the work, and they're going to take your job from you. I notice you ain't been out hitting the streets running. I notice you ain't been putting time in the cage. I notice you ain't been putting time out at the field. Man, he's going to start feeling like, damn, my dad just never notices the work that I do do. My dad doesn't think, my dad doesn't believe in me. Versus saying something like, son, I notice, like, you've been hitting the streets hard lately. You've been going out on runs. I know you've been coming in the door later at night. I know you've been getting those second workouts in. You know, you're going to go far with this because you're doing the work that others aren't willing to do, and that's going to put you on top, son. That's going to give him momentum. That's going to give him legs. But it doesn't stop there, man. It doesn't stop with your family. You got to do this. If you're the leader of your company, you got to do this at your office too. Like you're going to tear down your salesmen when they don't hit their dials, when they don't hit their doors, when they don't get their numbers up, or are you going to acknowledge them when the, the ones that are doing it, right? Because that's going to inspire more people around them. Start acknowledging the ones that are hitting it. 
Start noticing when their sales are increasing, when their production's increasing. And you definitely got to do it with your business partners. You know, you're going to rip your business partner up and down and, and have, you know, butt heads and be at odds all the time. And, you know, maybe there's a problem with a client. Or what if, what if you acknowledge when they do something great consistently? Like, hey, I noticed you handled that client issue the other day. And they're totally happy with this, man. They left a five-star review on Google for us. I didn't know you had it in you, bro. Like, man, I really appreciate you stepping up and handling that customer. I know that's not your role all the time, but man, like that, that meant a lot to me because that really helped that I wasn't, I didn't have to do it while I was off with my family at a ball game or I was on vacation with my family, man. Just the fact that you stepped up and handled it, you did a better job than I could have ever done with that guy. Man, I really appreciate that. It's like, man, that's going to just strengthen your relationship. That's going to motivate them the next time you're out of town and that's your role that they can step up and do that for you. Versus like, man, I wish you would have said something a little bit different. You know, like, I wish uh, I wish you would have told him this, this, and this so that, you know, he didn't think this. Or, you know, um, you know, like, man, like, you must have not done a great job because he didn't go leave a review. You know what I mean? I can't beat, I can't beat this enough because it is so damn important. Think about what sounds better. Think, think about what would get more out of you if you were the employee or you were wanting to uh, uh, get acknowledged more by your business partners. Those are just some great examples of how you can shift your language. But you can't be that egomaniac that doesn't hear people. You know, those people, and I've been guilty of this at times, and I'm constantly trying to stay aware of it and trying to get better at it because it's a skill that the better you get at it, the more that you're going to get out of your team. But we're not perfect. We've got to stay aware of it. And uh, people, want to, uh, people want to serve more when they're noticed, when they're seen when they're heard. They like to do more of what they think that they're getting better at. Bottom line is, if you become a highlighter, you'll create a culture of everyone doing it. Your production will soar. But you've got to be the leader. You've got to be willing to do it consistently for a long period of time to change or create that winning environment. Don't get stuck being the guy that you think you've got to be, the leader that needs the credit, the guy that needs to do it all, the guy that needs to be the hero. Don't get stuck at doing that because if you are being that guy, that's what I was trying to say a minute ago, you're not hearing people. You're not seeing people. Get outward with the people that matter most and start shifting that language to give them the acknowledgement that they deserve and you're going to bring them up to another level. And that's a huge skill that's going to help bring everything up around you, including your team. I hope that there's some lessons in there for you guys on becoming a better acknowledger, becoming a better person in your team. I have some big goals for this company that we're building here. I have some big goals for the multiple companies that we're building. I have some big goals for my legacy. And so when I hear things like this, or I remember a lesson like I had from Ed. I just want to jump in here and I want to share it with you guys because this is something that's already made a difference in my life. When we hit hard times, this is one of the first things I go back to. Man, how can I get outward? Who do I need to start acknowledging? Dude, the culture feels like it's dipping. I don't care how great your company is. Your culture isn't 100% all the time. We hit tough times. Like for us, it's like, man, we come out of tax season. It's like people feel like they're dragging. So we start throwing an after tax season party. That's a great time for us to hand out some awards, start acknowledging the superstars. But we're all human and we all want to do more of what we think we're great at. We're all human and we all want to serve more where we feel like it's appreciated. So stop tearing people down when they're doing something wrong and start lifting them up and building them up when you notice that they're doing something right. Don't stay silent at that. Like I said, when I talked about my wife, like, I don't know why it felt uncomfortable at first. And I find myself doing that sometimes, like with a new team member that comes in, it's like, I don't know them really good. You know, yeah, like, I don't, I don't know. I don't, I'll just won't say anything right now. It's like, it feels weird to like give that love sometimes. 
that's some weird shit about humans, man. And, and, and I just encourage everybody that if it starts feeling a little bit weird to give that acknowledgement, that's probably a good sign that you need to do it. And it's a great opportunity to practice it because this skill is a skill that will take you to the moon. So anyway, I hope you guys got something out of that. This is just a short episode. Just wanted to share some thoughts and some lessons on things that have really helped me personally in all the environments that I'm ingrained in, like work, like home. And as always, you guys, if you get some value out of this, don't forget to give us a like, give us a rate, give us a review, share it with someone that you love. And uh, hey, let's all just keep kicking some ass. Peace out. Love y'all.